Channel, A.S. My dearest brothers and sisters, this is Hakan speaking. I greet you in peace and love. There is a narrative in the truther community that the so-called white hats, who are really grey hats in our minds, have to move this slowly. Allegedly this is the only possible way. I disagree and I want to speak out against this narrative, because it's very much time for the grey hats to openly start taking action in my view. The people have suffered and have been kept in the dark for too long already. One primary argument for that it has to be this way view is that people claim that if the grey hats just arrest everyone and reveal everything, then most people wouldn't believe the truth. Well, first of all, the grey hats think that they're being this first time in history movement, and from one perspective they are. They genuinely are going to contribute to your lasting liberation. However, from another perspective, they're yet another group that hoards information and knowledge for itself, doesn't trust average humans with the truth, and seeks to move humanity in a certain direction from the shadows. That pattern has repeated over and over again throughout history. Often those movements started out with mostly good intentions but then became corrupt. Second, I think that broadly speaking there is some group of humans who can reason independently, and one group of humans who just believe whatever the television says. Well, the group of humans who can reason independently already understands that the official narrative doesn't make sense and something is horribly wrong. Most of this group will embrace the truth once it's presented to them, because the truth resonates and makes sense. And then there's the group of people who just believe whatever the television says. Well, if the grey hats take over the mainstream media and use it to broadcast truth which I think they should do then most of these people will be shocked but in time they'll just embrace the new narrative, because that's what the television says now. So that's what they'll believe. Third, that we have to go this slow position argues that if today it was revealed that the people who ran the world, worked for demons and hostile extraterrestrials, then people wouldn't believe that. However, the Grey Hats could first release proof that many politicians have engaged in normal corruption and treason and crimes against children. Then leverage that to bring those politicians to justice. Releasing proof of crimes against children, the Grey Hats have this proof, will finally unite the people. If the courts fail to serve justice, then use military tribunals. Then once the corrupt politicians are removed, work to lighten the burden of average people and simultaneously start rolling out disclosure that is a bit harder to accept. The truth should come out, but if the concern is that people can't immediately handle all this truth, then start with disclosure about regular corruption and crimes against children today, and arrest the guilty. Once those people are held accountable, lighten the load of average people and simultaneously start rolling out disclosure of the harder-to-believe bits later. Sure some people still won't believe the truth. But so what? Most of them won't take up arms. And the few who do become violent can just be handled by the police. This is why I don't agree with the argument that the process has to be this slow, because people wouldn't believe it if you told them the truth. There's a second argument why this process has to be this slow. That argument is this. This process has to be this slow in order to expose and catch all the rats. If we'd arrest all the bad guys today, we wouldn't get all the rats. Well, first of all, the higher up grey hats aren't homeless, aren't starving or freezing to death. Their friends and families don't think they're crazy. They're not suffering from health issues, because they have access to advanced healing technology that the public doesn't. So who are the grey hats to determine that it's fine for other people to suffer for the alleged greater good? I bet that if the higher up grey hats had to go through what average people have to go through, then mass arrests and a corporate media takeover would have happened years ago. Second, if so-called rats already have committed crimes, then in most cases the grey hats already have that proof, or the proof is already stored in some database somewhere that they can look through later or the grey hats will get proof from other black hats who are ratting out their CO conspirators. So most of the rats will get caught even if you don't stretch out this period in order to catch more rats. 
whereas if the so-called rats haven't committed crimes, then there's no need to entrap them. They haven't done anything wrong. A big part of the grey hats are American, and while Americans have some amazing attributes and qualities and values, they think a bit too often in terms of, these people are inherently evil, and those people are inherently good. If people are inherently evil, it makes sense to want to entrap them, because then you've gotten rid of an inherently evil person who would have committed crimes later otherwise. But in reality, most people will start doing evil deeds once they're tempted or pressured or isolated or brainwashed enough. This also means that if this period drags on, where the corrupt profit and the well-meaning people get trampled underfoot and people are pushed into financially desperate situations, then more and more normal people will become corrupt over time, because clearly that's what's being rewarded. So the white hats might think in terms of we need to catch all the rats, but what they're doing is closer to trying to mop up every last drop of water, while the faucet is still running, with the faucet being the current situation where the corrupt are rewarded and people are financially squeezed, leading to more and more people becoming corrupt. In our society, practically no one commits crimes, or harms others. And yet, we have a substantial group of people who would commit crimes if they were born and then put in certain situations. We have many souls among us who would work for the black hats if they were born on earth and then had a certain kind of upbringing. But because we have created a good society, these brothers and sisters of ours don't turn evil and don't harm others. This is true for your situation as well. The longer this situation continues, the more people will start becoming corrupt. If you seek to entrap every single person who is willing to commit crimes under certain circumstances, then you would have to entrap and arrest more than half of the population. That's not a workable position you'd be entrapping people forever, while the good people keep suffering. It's much more sensible to just release proof of corruption and treason and crimes against children today, arrest those people, using military tribunals if needed, and work to lighten the burden of the average people. Then a whole lot of people simply will not commit crimes anymore and so there's no need to entrap them. Will that mean that a few dark-hearted people will escape capture? Possibly. What of it? If the people aren't needlessly burdened anymore and are brought relief and truth, then a few dark-hearted people won't be able to get a foothold any longer. In a society that rewards virtue and where people can have a good life by leading a good life, darkness is no longer appealing. Finally, I want to address the higher up grey hats. So these are the people who could be giving the order to do the mass arrests, or could give the order to take over the mainstream media. Higher up grey hats, this is Commander Hacken speaking, on behalf of the Galactic Confederation. We know that you have worked hard, and that you personally have sacrificed, and that there is a heavy load placed on your shoulders. I understand that you have already prevented a lot of suffering and death, and that you have not been getting broad recognition for your work. At the same time, the people are suffering to an unacceptable degree. And we consider it to be your responsibility to end that not a year from now, but very soon. Higher up grey hats, we are watching you too. If you stray too far into the territory of trying to move humanity from the shadows, you might one day find yourself in front of a galactic court. Many of you have sworn oaths to protect the people or to defend the constitution. Galactic courts have the right to hold you to account if you fail to uphold your oath. Also, we are aware that some of you have engaged in corruption or in various crimes, for which we could also hold you to account in a galactic court. Yes, we have the authority to do so. The Galactic's courts aren't required to do so, but they can choose to do so. Don't think that bodyguards or technology will stop you from being arrested by us, if we so choose. We can arrest you in ways that you don't even realize are possible right now. What you think of as high-tech is quaint and adorably old technology to us. So, remember your oath. And get a move on not just for the people or the constitution who you swore to defend, but for your own sake too. 
Right now we're not yet at the point where we view you as yet another evil group, because we understand that you are fighting against the Black Hats and have prevented a lot of death and destruction. However, keep living in luxury while the people suffer, keep hoarding all the information and technology for yourself while keeping the public in the dark, and one day we might decide to hold you to account after all. The people of Earth deserve better than this. So, get a move on. The solution to the situation on Earth really isn't that complicated. It's just, inform the people, enforce your laws, which means having public large-scale arrests, and then work to empower the people. At this point in time we're better at predicting the future than you are, and we promise you that this is the best path forward. If you see practical obstacles to this plan, or fear potential problems that can arise from this, Feel free to talk to us Galactics and we'll give you all the support you need. You know how to contact us. The people don't need you to become yet another shadowy group that seeks to move humanity from the shadows. The people simply need the truth, and need for those who have sworn to protect them or to protect the constitution to remember their oath. That's it. And you are in a position where you can bring relief to the people. Your star brother, Hacken.